Hello there, welcome to Antiv English News Bulletin. I am Bhao Nakesi. In the beginning, we have the headlines. Sri Krishna Janmashtami being celebrated, offering worship to Lord Krishna. Devotees thronging to Krishna shrine since early morning. Torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone leave at least 21 people dead in southern Brazil, thousands displaced. Match between Nepal and the UAE, the ICC Women's T20 World Cup affected due to rain. The men's cricket team returning home today after its participation in Asia Court. We the semis for first time. Welcome back. You are with Antiv English News Bulletin. Now we have the news in details. Sri Krishna Janmashtami is being celebrated by the Hindus throughout the country today with devotion and veneration. According to scriptures, Lord Sri Krishna was born in the midnight of Bhadra Krishna Ashtami as per the lunar calendar during the Dwapar era. Lord Krishna is considered as the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the protector of human beings from evil, injustice and devilish forces. He is also regarded as the proponent of the three principles of Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. On this day, Hindu people celebrate the birth anniversary of Lord Krishna, who is considered the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Devotees, especially women, observe a fast, spend the night chanting prayers and devotional songs and dancing and lighting the well-fed lamps. Meanwhile, devotees are thronging to the temples of Lord Krishna, including famous Sri Krishna Temple of Mangal Bazar in Lalitpur since early morning today. Various religious organization and institutions celebrate the, this day of Sri Krishna Janmashtami by organizing colorful processions with the idols of Lord Krishna flanked by the decorative portraits. The Supreme Court is set to continue the hearing of the writ petition filed by Hikmat Karki, the CPNU ML Kosi Province Parliamentary Party leader, on Thursday. During the hearing held on uh, Tuesday, advocates representing Chief Minister Uddhav Thapa, who is in the opposition opposing party in the case, presented their arguments before a full bench comprising Supreme Court Justices Sapana Pradhan Malla, Kumar Chudal, and Mahakul Subedi. The full bench overseeing the case will now be looking into the video recording of the voting for the province chief Uddhav Thapa as a vote of confidence. CPNU ML Kosi province parliamentary party leader Hikmat Kumar Karki had filed the read petition naming Kosi province chief uh, Parshuram Khabung and claiming that the chairperson of the provincial assembly meeting had also cast the vote. The petitioners will have to will have their turn to present counter arguments on Thursday since Wednesday is a public holiday due to Krishna Janmashtami. Radha Krishna Kadelo Palpa has been elected as a chairman of the CPNU ML Lumini province. In the election held in Butuol Kadel, also the former chairman owned the election by beating Hari Rizalo Piutana, central member, by two votes. Out of total 965 votes cast, Kadel got 479 votes, while his competitor Rizal received 477 votes. Similarly, according to the final voting results of other office bearers, Boz Prasad Sresto of Kadel faction owned by getting 455 votes, Bishuras Baral Anup Rizal of Anup Bishuras Baral of Rizal faction got 306 votes for the post of the vice chairperson. With this update, the time to go for a short break, but it's still to come we have. Welcome back, you are with NTV English News Bulletin, now to the updates from the International Front. Torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone have left at least 21 people dead in southern Brazil with more flooding expected. The governor of Rio Grande do Sul said it was the state's worst ever weather disaster. Thousands have been forced from their homes. In Mucum, a town of 5,000 people, hundreds had to be rescued from their rooftops as 85% of the town was flooded. President Luis Inacio Lula da Silva said the federal government was ready to help. 
A new Russian drone strike has hit Ukrainian port facilities in the Izmail area on the river Danube, killing one person, the local governor says. Port and agricultural infrastructure was damaged in the attack in the attack in the overnight attack rather, according to Oleha Keeper, governor of the surrounding Odessa region. There was no immediate comment from Moscow on the reported new attack. Ismail across the river from NATO member state Romania came under Russian drone attack earlier this week. Ukraine alleged that Russian drones had landed on Romanian territory during that attack, but Romania has denied this. The 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, has opened in New York of the United States. The agenda includes major international issues and conflicts, climate change and sustainable development issues, as well as efforts to address the indebtedness of developing economies. The central event, the General Assembly High Level Week 2020-23, to take place on September 19 to 25, will gather global leaders and foreign ministers will present their vision of the international situation and outline directions for the fight against the global challenges. You're watching NTV English News Bulletin. More updates lined up on the other side, but before that, let's have what we have coming up next. Welcome back. Now to more updates from the international front. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has asked China to set aside its issues with India and play a constructive role in the upcoming G20 summit. Sullivan said it was up to China if it wanted to play the role of spoiler instead. His remarks come after China confirmed that its leader Xi Jinping would not attend the meeting. India will host the G20 summit in capital Delhi on 9th and 10th of September. Neither India nor China has given specific reasons behind Xi's action. Beijing had said its Premier League Qiang would lead China's delegation at the summit. India and China share a frosty relationship and tensions between the two countries that have worsened since 2020-20 due to border issues. The youngest son of Myanmar's detained former leader Aung San Suu Kyi said she has been denied urgent medical care. Kim Aris said the military, uh, the military rulers ruling the country blocked the prison authorities' request for urgent medical care for Suu Kyi. However, a military spokesperson said she is in good health and receives regular checkups from both military and civilian doctors. Suu Kyi has been detained since February 2020-21 following the military coup that outstayed her. The coup triggered a civil war in the country and has led to the deaths of thousands of people. China on Tuesday sent a sea-launched rocket into space from the waters surrounding Haiyang, a coastal city in the eastern province of Shandong, placing four satellites into the planned orbit. The commercial launch vehicle Ceres-1 blasted off at 5.34 uh, p.m. Beijing time. The Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center conducted the offshore mission. It was the ninth flight mission of the Ceres-1 rocket series, the launch center has said. You're watching Antiv English News Bulletin. More updates are lined up on the other side, but before that, let's have the highlights first. Today's settled match between Nepal and United Arab Emirates in the ICC Women's T20 World Cup Asia qualifiers has been affected due to rain. Nepal, which is in Group A, meanwhile, has secured its berth in another round as a runner-up. Nepal had registered a four consecutive wins in the tournament. Nepal earlier defeated Qatar in the match held on Monday. 
The Super Four stages of the Asia Cup 2020-23 is getting underway today with host Pakistan taking on Bangladesh at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. The match will kick off at 3.15 p.m. Nepal Standard Time. Pakistan has entered the Super Four with a huge win over Nepal and one point secured from their washed-out game against India. Bangladesh, on the other hand, was hammered by Sri Lanka by five wickets in its opening match but bounced back to thrust Afghanistan by 89 runs and book its berth in the Super Four stages. India and Sri Lanka are the other two teams who have qualified for the Super Four. Meanwhile, the Nepali national cricket team, which played in the Asia Cup one-day cricket tournament, is returning home this afternoon. Nepal was eliminated from the group stage after losing both the matches against cricketing giants like Pakistan and India. However, despite the defeat, Nepali players are being praised for their exceptional performance in Asia Cup. Well, with this update, we come to the end of this English News Bulletin. But before we say goodbye, let's have a quick reminder of the major stories making to the headlines of this edition. Sri Krishna Janmashtami being celebrated, offering worship to Lord Krishna, devotees thronging to Krishna's shrine since early morning today. Torrential rain and winds caused by a cyclone leave at least 21 people dead in southern Brazil, thousands displaced. Match between Nepal and the UAE in the ICC Women's T20 World Cup Asia qualifiers affected due to rain means cricketing team returning home today after its participation in Asia Cup. And Djokovic reaches a record 47 main Grand Slam semi-final with a straight set win over Fritz at the US Open. Golf routes Ostapenko to reach the semis for the first time. Well, that's all we have in this edition of English News Bulletin. So I'll see you again with next round of English Bulletin at 6 in the evening. Till then, have a great time ahead and do stay tuned with us to catch the latest news updates and other programs. Namaste.